Gene Paul East Peter here, and I'm joined by my two buddies, Comic Fan and Four Way Flashers. Hello. Hey. Hey. I've got a mountain of back issue books I got to show off, and just like last. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to. There we go. And uh, I just can't uh, put them away until I go through them all. So I'll show some quick, and we'll talk about some. And we'll have some colorful commentary from my buddies here. And uh, yeah, that's it. How are you guys today? Been up for a couple hours. I'm okay, I guess. Yeah. Oh, I got so much stuff to put away myself. I really do. <laughs> I put really? on my oh. yesterday. Are you kidding me? You have you have tons of stuff. Dr. Yeah. Von Chilla and Matilda Gothica are both in the chat. They say hi. Hello. That was quick. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, I'm just gonna get right into the books and we'll just talk and hang out, and that's it. First ones actually came from that I'm going to show off came from uh, Four Way. Yeah. You would, you yeah. would. Oh, it's only because I didn't send you your books yet. This is true. So X Men Unlimited number one. I don't even know if I already have this. I think I might, but I'm a sucker for Marvel issue ones, especially during the '90s. Uh, they both, I, a lot of them, they only came in one bag because Mike really cheaped out on that. Yeah. <laughs> Young uh, Avengers. I want to tell you how to internet, but uh, put the camera and focus on you, okay? All right. Let me do that. Present to everyone. There you go. You're presenting to everyone. There you go. All right. Young Avengers and the Runaways, Civil War, probably uh, unarguably the, the best storyline in, in the 2000s, in the noughties. Isn't that what they call it? The noughties? The noughties? Yeah. Yeah. Is that what the kids are calling it these I days? Uh, <laughs> Darkman, number one. Amazing. Uh, Fantastic Four, 539, some war tie-in. Grim not having it. Now, Mike, you were all about, obviously all about collecting these uh, Civil War tie-ins. Were you picking up any of these? Is it only because there were Civil War tie-ins, or were you reading any of these at the time? Uh, I, well, I, I wasn't reading any of the, the books. I was reading the Civil War, so I read like all the tie-ins. And then I just got cash poor from all of the tie-ins, so mm. I stopped collecting them. I love this uh, Quicksilver one. It's really good. Uh, free comic book day, Bongo, free for all. Rest in peace, Bongo Comics. I love them. I miss them. Come back. Incredible Hulk, number 313. A little scribble mark there, yeah. but that's all right. It's, uh, uh, what's his name? Mike Mr. McNola. Mr. McNola. Yeah. So I think, uh, Mike, what, what did you pay for this one? It was like 99 cents or something, didn't it? Yeah, it was, it was, it was ridiculously cheap. Uh, that's why I got it for you, yeah. because I am a man of small means. Hence the double bags. Hence and, uh, the double bags. Well, I mean, if you didn't live on an island in the middle of nowhere, then maybe uh, it'd be easier to ship you more books. It's an island in the sun, my friends, and I've got bees trying to get into the house. Just want to say what's up, Exile State Comics. Thanks for joining the live stream in the middle of the day. Hello, sir. This is the only time to go live uh, for me lately. I've been super busy. Uh, Thunderbolts 103. Thunderbolts, love it. New Avengers 22. Love Luke Cage. G.I. Joe Special Missions number one. First issue. Love it. Not a newsstand, so pretty much garbage. Pretty much. Uh, <laughs> X Men Civil War number one. I remember falling for that book when I was a kid, though. I bought it off the rack. Yeah, it was probably newsstand, too. Right? That's what I mean. That's yeah. a real comic. This direct market shit. Wants that giant size. Where this was a this was actually a very considered gift from Mike while he was out at Big B Comics, one of the best comic shops in Ontario. Period. Am I right? I was say yes. Yeah, uh, giant size werewolf number five, and he got it for such a good price. Love it. That brings me pretty close to finishing my run. I'm trying to palm it like James or fucking <laughs> Jeff Johnson. Yeah. I can't. I'm gonna you fold know? and just, just snap the book in half. <laughs> Uh, Tales of G.I. Joe number one. Now we got a new stand. Boom. That's the magic. Uh, obviously reprinting issue number one. It, oh, it's, it's issue... No, go it, ahead. Sorry. It issue, uh, reprints number one and two, doesn't it? Both of them. I believe I so. Yeah. You know what? Though, with those kind of books, I'm expecting some guy in a rocking chair re reminiscing about the old days of G.I. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I remember back, <laughs> Lady J. I, I just, I just want to point out that that one is a newsstand copy. We went over that. 
Please New stand. New stand. Who does that, Carson? Uh, right. Yes, you would. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Heroes for Hire, number two. Not a great cover. Not a great uh, cap looking a bit weird there. Ooh, that's not I, not I not also bad. want to point out in the chat, Dr. Von Chilla <laughs> says, love how double bagging is coming back. Us kids in the 1970s started <laughs> that. So thank you, Dr. Von Chilla. You're okay in my book. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care what Gene Pauly Peter says about you. You're okay in my book. <laughs> Dr. Von Chilla is amazing. Love his channel. I don't see him enough. I don't see enough YouTube, to be honest. I uh, I don't watch half the amount of YouTube I used to be watching. Not because there's anything wrong with the content, just that busy man, busy times. Ms. Marvel number six, a little uh, watercolor action going on there. Feels like a David Mack. Oh, boom, it is David Mack. Boom. There we go. Yeah. I boom. feel like you, you missed, you totally missed a shameless plug on that little machine you have off to your uh, right hand side there. Right and here? Why, why you're so busy. Oh, I, I'm explain so Explain to the kids. Explain to the kids uh, why you're so busy. I'm so busy because of uh, uh, my new venture, which is polar pressing, impressing, cleaning, comics, loving it, very zen, enjoyable, love it, having great results, enjoying it. Uh, yeah, it's just been a lot of fun doing it. And I'm, uh, it's starting to pick up a lot of a pace here in Newfoundland, in St. John's, and we're getting a lot of orders and drop-offs and things like that, so... Been really busy with it and seeing a lot of books that I wish were in my collection. So <laughs> that's that's probably the the worst thing about mm -hmm. pressing, to be honest, is having to turn around and give the books back. Yeah, it it uh, is a little depressing. A boom. Oh, boom. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. See, you asked you told me I should be presenting to everybody, but that I mean the floor is yours, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Young Avengers and the Runaways, number two. Runaways. Is Runaways still a TV show? Is that still happening? Uh, yes, it is, I believe. She-Hulk, obviously very conflicted during Civil War. <laughs> um, the Punisher, Evolutionary War, number one. Uh, Power Man, Iron Fist, number 51. And you got to appreciate the bag on this one. It's wow. good. This is what we call a cheetah print. Um, I, don't recall, I don't recall you paying extra for the bags. Um, in fact, I don't recall wow. you paying anything for the books at all. So, one oh gift horse seven, one oh seven. This is a great one, one sixteen. A great, great bag or great issue? Great well, I, yeah, I was just showing the bag. The bag's great. <laughs> the book's pretty good too. Pretty good. So well, a lot of people didn't like oh. the evil rand, but oh, I remember that issue. Power Man Iron Fist. Mm -hmm. Exile State is commenting on the fact that it's pun central here today. Oh, it's 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 only that. It's only ever going to be that from now on. Uh, this is Martial Law, number one from Epic Comics, Fear and Loathing. Uh, I'm a sucker for the Epic Comics as well, but this wow. one's got a real, uh, what was it, S&M feel? Yeah. It's, it's tough. Yeah. yeah. This came from Kyle Walker, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, it did. Marvel Age special, 100th issue. I'm, you know, still working on the Marvel Age run. This has the first time we see a uh, good old Sleepwalker. Mm. Cool. Yeah. 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 Previews are fun. Mm -hmm. uh, Marvel Age number 94. You got uh, the Juggernaut. What is it? The Unstoppable? Yeah. Throw him in space. He's going to well, be moving. He's going to be well, dinging around like a pinball. Yeah, right. Well, he's not. He's just. Just sort of puts the fact that he's unstoppable. He's not. He's still moving. Still has momentum. Later, right? This is pretty good. Uh, Michael Kaluta. What is this called? Starstruck. I think that's what it's called. Another epic title, but it's Marvel Age number twenty-six. There you go. Number twenty-three. Made to be the bad guys. Are the bad guys in Rom the Wraiths? Uh, obviously, pretty terrifying. Great Bill Sienkiewicz cover. But uh, they're only, I mean, don't judge a book by its cover. They're only pissed off because Rom's, the Space Knights, well, Rom in particular, destroyed their planet. And uh, so I think uh, I call bullshit. It's, 20, yeah. it's, 20, that, it's, 20, it's 2019, people. I just want to point something out. Read, okay. read, the, read, the, read the cover title out loud on that one. Beyond the Wraith War, Future Romifications. Puns! Oh. Oh. Puns! I love it. 
Uh, New Avengers number one, Illuminati. All right. Mm. This is when they were conspiring against old, uh, old uh, Purple Pants and trying to, <laughs> we're like, uh, okay, we're going to have a big argument here on Earth. We need to get rid of the Hulk. So what are we going to do? Throw him in space, I suppose. Did you see what happened to Juggernaut? He's just floating around. <laughs> Throw him in space. I don't know. What are we going to do with him? <laughs> you think he might break out or anything? Nah. No. I'm throwing, throw him in space. This, this will never come back and bite us in the ass. This, you know, do you think he'll be mad? I'm fine with it. Mad? He'll understand. Tell he's me a good going guy. on a vacation. Right? Um, Marvel Age number 16. Again, Bill Sienkiewicz, man, dominated the 80s. I love his stuff. What do you guys think about Bill Sienkiewicz's work now as he moves forward? Do you think it's uh, reminiscent? Has it kept up? Has it? No, I feel like it's still the same. I think he's used the same formula he's always used. It's, yeah, it's, I think I think he I think he holds up well. Um, he's definitely he's, one of those artists where you definitely know whose whose work is it, it is just by looking at the cover. It's all those washed out colors, and it's not faded. It's just it's exactly what I what I mean by washed out. Hmm. This is the best comic right here. Captain Tax Time. Boom. Uh, yeah. Uh, Paul Haynes Comics. Uh, this is this is interesting. Thanks. Wow. Thanks. Thanks, Mike. No problem. Oh, Captain Mike. Th thanks for this. The, <laughs> the, great, the greatest superhero ever was. Look where they put the fucking barcode, man. I love it. <laughs> Like, Can you just open that up, though? I I, I yeah. want I want at least like at one page. I want to make sure they didn't spend all the talent on the cover. Uh, see nothing not, but stick figures. <laughs> well, at least there's no ad on back, but uh, it's a big blur by uh, Ben Franklin, which is great. Oh, you know what? The art isn't terrible. Apparently, we have Thanos at the end here, referred to as the Enforcer. Kind of got a Thanos thing happening, right? Mm -hmm. Um. Black and white, it's not great. So the the uh, story the story behind it. this this book is um, guy guy came into my local comic shop and was trying to sell <laughs> off a bunch of <laughs> sell off a bunch of comics, including the one that he created, which was Captain Tax Time. He's a, he's an accountant by day and uh, a comic book artist by night. You know what? Then good he for him. Man. Yeah. Good so, one. Wow. So when I saw when I saw that, I said that's probably the Jeep happiest, Jeep happiest book <laughs> that ever Jeep hopped. You know what? I got I got more respect for that. That's actually cool. Good for, good on you, Paul yeah. Haynes. And come tax time in Canada, please hit up Paul Haynes. Yeah. Uh, you could do yourself a little favor. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Get him <laughs> to sign it. Another you Canadian. wouldn't like to see him when it's time to collect. No. Well, it, we just throw him in space. Uh, the Halifax Explosion, another Canadian uh, privilege, I guess it is, or yes. uh, of uh, owning this book. Yeah, it's actually the Halifax Explosion, quite devastating. But uh, I, I know. <laughs> okay, so this is the part that screws me up right off the bat. Okay, it's not gloss; it's just whatever. Thanks, Mike. Uh, but so the Halifax Explosion, it's uh, man, what like couple of. Hundred at least nine hundred, a thousand. I don't know. People in the harbor of Halifax it was loaded down with ammunition and exploded, blowing up half the city and everything like that. Hundreds of people died. Right? McDonald's response to it: history wasn't, <laughs> wasn't supposed to be this fun. I don't know. You're, you're, yeah, you're, you're, yeah, you're, it's, it's you're advertising on this. Is probably one of the biggest biggest tragedies in Canadian history. And yeah. I know. I think it's supposed to be this fun. Hey. Yeah. Uh, Matt's, Matt's just, murder got you down? Hey, come on, hit us up for a Big Mac. Make it just happen. Just a Reekin in his comics says, hello, Gene. Hello, who's that? Just a Reekin and his oh, comics. Hey, now. Boom. I've got too many copies of this now. I went a little crazy for X Force. Yeah, you did. Um, you were like, I "Hey, did. if you ever see a copy of this, pick it up for me." And I picked it up for you. And then, then you're like, "Hey, good. Guess what I found? Guess what I found?" Yeah. So I have three copies there now, and it kind of, uh, but it's it's still cool. First appearance of kid of a po kid of, kid of apocalypse. What an idiot! I'm just putting the book down. What's up, Seawater nineteen? Burr, burr. Burr, burr. Up, Marvel Age number two. 
we get a preview of Aven uh, Alpha Flight number one. Almost said Avengers number one. Uh, Alpha Flight mm -hmm. number one. Boom. Newfoundlander right there. Really? Uh, Name right that, that That's like a Newfoundland 10 right there. Uh, Boom. Smoking. Mostly right, let's, let's favorite clear the air. Yeah. Can we clear the air really quick? What's your take on uh, previews? Marvel Age previews. First appearance or no? No. Love them. Yeah. Okay. You didn't answer the question. Uh, no, no. It's just, it's just fun. It's a. They, they can be little novelties and uniqueness to the character if you're trying to crunch out everything. Sometimes they can come in, you know, based on rarity because a lot of people throw this shit away. But uh, it's cool. But it's not. It's in, in continuity wise. If if, I, if someone came to me, I want the first appearance of Sleepwalker. I am not going to direct them to the Marvel Age 100. I'd say, well. Yeah, here's the Sleepwalker number one. But what you should also check out is Ding Dong to Ding Dong. You know, there. Boom. Hand back. Tony Stark looking like Charlie Bronson. Iron Man. Been streaking all night. Looks like Charlie Bronson. Who you were, uh, you kids? Get out of here. We got we got uh, Punisher Comics in. What's up? Hey, wow! Hello. Hello, Frank. How are you, sir? One twenty. Power Man and Iron Fist. Ba boom. Smack to the jaw. Luke Cage. Power Man number forty four. And I'm I'm glad these aren't twenty five centers because they'd all have the Marvel value stamp missing. Uh, <laughs> House of Mystery two fifty nine. Love it. Orlando. Did I send you that? No. I'm just on the other I'm on I'm on the other stuff now, man. Did so you want it back? Keep up. No. Keep up. I'm just saying, let the people know. I don't send you. All right. Back. This one, Mike never gave me this one. He has nothing to do with this. Um, uh, this is a 252 House of Mystery. Nice little uh Neil Adams. Wow, that does not look very Neil Adams-esque. Ah, uh, if you check out that taco talk tickle talk show uh they do they do this one they do like kind of the, the big gargoyle monster like thing x-men the movie toys r us exclusive what apparently this came out when you went and saw the movie in the theater and uh see i can grip it with one hand but yeah not really counting but yeah so what well, first mcu version of the x-men so that's what? a thing. That's yeah, that's a thing. That, that counts as a thing now. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Mm. It absolutely does. Uh, Marvel superheroes. Uh, this is a great eighty-page special about when balls collide. Ah! <laughs> he said balls. He Sorry. said balls. All right, we got speedball and absorbing man happening in this one. Pretty cool. They're fun. Dude, whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait a second. It's got my mind rolling here. Absorbing man, absorbing balls. Too far. I mean, too far. Yeah. That was a little bit of a stretch. Ew. Oh. That one fell on the ground. What you did there? Uh, would he? Ball. Would he absorb his balls though? It fell on the ground. My balls hit the ground. There <laughs> that was the last one. Well, we're not doing that again. Okay. Balls in your court. Uh, future ramen number forty-four. Rest in peace, Bongo. Look, we got a uh, we got one of these covers. Look, look, Faces of Evil, Batwoman or uh, Catwoman, Batman, dyslexia kicking in. Last right, six eighty five, Batman. Now, who's the cover artist on this one here? Uh, uh, Alex Ross. Alex Ross, sir. Yeah, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. Yeah. And Notice the lack lack of boobs. He doesn't need the boobs. Doesn't need it. Diamond. Mm. Man. All right, we're back to Mike's stuff. This one came from Mike. This one came from Four Way Flashers on. Uh, you can check them out on Four Way Flashers on Instagram, Four Way Flashers on Comics, on um, here on YouTube, or you can check them out here on my site, on my page uh, channel, from time to time, where we'll be showing off books that he sends me. Is that good, Mike? Yeah, it works for me. All right, Frontline number ten, and uh, the reason I got this is the first appearance of Penance. Uh, then after Civil War, well, even though it's during, but after the 
the old um, New Warriors gets it. He takes responsibility for what happened, or for at least not stopping it. And he takes down the incarnation of Penance. And it's pretty dope. I think it's prime for a TV show or a movie. New Warriors needs to happen. We're back to Fantastic Four, 538, Civil War. Pretty cool. Pretty. Uh, they're high-fiving. They're not fighting. If anybody read Civil War, it's mainly just about a high-five. Marvel Age, number five. Boom. Daredevil. Uh, this is W.J. Jensen. Oh, is it Jensen? Maybe. Klaus? Klaus? Klaus, Klaus? Jensen? Klaus isn't spelled with a W. Klaus? Uh, Marvel Age 27, Jim Shooter. I don't think that's Jim Shooter back there, though. I think that's... Uh, Burn? No, the guy... Well, maybe. No, but I think it's the guy who was running uh, Epic at the time. What's his name? Slipping my mind now. It's too early. Starlin? Goodwin. Archie Goodwin. Goodwin. Yeah, that's who I think it is, but I don't know. Uh, Thunderbolt, <clears throat> Thunderbolts 105. Baron Zemo. Marvel Age, number one. Gives me all the annuals now, so I'm glad to have that. Pretty sweet. Uh, these didn't come in a bag. Mike uh, gave me these as well. Master of Kung Fu 42, first appearance of Shockwave. First appearance of a uh, Zaran, Zaran rap. Oh, man, man, man. Wow, that was, man. That was weak. Wow. Eight, 89, not a first appearance in that one. <coughs> Again, no bags for any of them at all. Uh, not even double bagged, which was, uh, let's just say disappointing. Wow. Yeah, I mean. Get, guess guess what you're getting in the next box. 76. A bunch of dirty bags. Oh, well, you're getting something. <laughs> It'll be dirty. 78. A bunch of Ziploc bags. There you go. Hey. 229. Love it. And Is the, uh, is the ad in there, though? Oh, of course it is. Well, and the know. value Mike, stamp is in there, too. Mike might have clipped it out. No. There you go. Wow. There you go. First appearance of Wolverine. I'll, I'll, uh, I'm, I'm looking for no. the... That ad, that ad did not preview one, uh, one eighty. It preview it, it go, it's printed before one eighty one. This is true. That's right. You're right. I'm wrong. This is right. Marvel Saga twenty one reprinting, uh, some uh, loosely reprinting. And anybody picked up any sagas before? Some Silver Age Marvel stuff. Goodness. Uh, Marvel Tales 179, Canadian newsstand edition. Baboom. Classic. Wow. Issue where Spider-Man forgets to shave his armpits. Marvel Age 104, Jim Lee. Mm. Boom. Lee, pretty happy. Pretty happy to be at Marvel at the time. Marvel Premiere featuring Monarch Starstalker 32. Pretty sick. Uh, I'm a, a Dark Hawk fan. And. Uh, Star Stalker showed up in, in, in the series quite a bit. And Nova. And Nova. Marvel Saga, number 16. There's some X-Men reprints, some Strange Tales, Fantastic Four, clearly the Avengers, and more X-Men. Power Man Iron Fist, number 68. Oh, shit. I dropped something. Wow. Thanks, Mike. This yeah. came from a Loot Crate. It's hard on the eyes. Uh, Loot Crate Magazine Fear, issue 15. But pretty sweet zombie stuff. If you're tripping balls, it's a great comic. Uh, and this, and I was really glad because I, I missed this one. This wow. is Sabrina. Yeah, the Teenage Witch. Gorgeous. Gorgeous cover. Very good. I don't know what this is, Mike. Is that where it came from? Yes. All right. Well, cool. That's the first stack. Actually, making pretty good time on here. All right. Yeah. yeah. So uh, let me just pull up some more stuff here. I have about three long box, uh, three short boxes of stuff to show off. All right. Ah, now there's a book. There's a, that's <laughs> a great book. I just saw the stock, the top of the stack. That's great. Uh, Avengers one hundred and nine. This came from Ray Ray's Comics. We did a trade, and 
he hooked me up with some stuff and I hooked him up with some stuff. So Avengers 109, beauty. Uh, the Avengers number four, a little uh, Miss Marvel kind of key book with first appearance of a warbird. And then a warbird. Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right? Whoa, right? whoa. Right? Forget about the first appearance of Warbird. You just showed 109. Clearly, Hawkman quits. Hawkeye. Hawkman. Hawk, uh, Hawk, Hawk, but that's that Hawkeye. Doesn't matter. He he doesn't even exist. He quit. Doesn't doesn't matter. Yeah. Hawkeye is the Cyclops of the Avengers. He just he's either quitting or complaining that's about true. something. Not right. Then they, can I come back, guys? Can I? Ha Hawkeye's never getting a movie. He's never getting a movie because he's he's such a, a quitter. Liar. He's a quitter. He's a quitter. They See started, you later, Matilda. Bye bye. They started making the movie, but they just stopped halfway through. And then so you show the other book, and bam, there he is. Bam. There he is. He back. He back. Photobomb. Boom. I got out. Uh, I, I wouldn't have let him back. Sorry. Avengers 225. Paying for his past uh, indiscretions. <laughs> I got one 184. Avengers. Love it. Uh, Miss Marvel joins the team, I think. Yeah. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. 184 or 183, yeah. maybe. Mm -hmm. uh 202 uh, yeah 183 boom there it is there yeah that's it that's what i meant that's what i meant to say <clears throat> 202 ultron 206 not the greatest uh, inking job on this one very thick uh that's not a new book uh, four kids walk into a bank i've had that a while that came from Marty from uh, over at Comic Book Fanatics a couple of years ago. Canadian newsstand edition, because I live in Canada. So uh, the Falcon number one, not bad. Uh, Fantastic Four, this came from Ray Ray as well. Fantastic Four number 83 was Psycho Man. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, pretty dope. Mike, is that a 12 center unit? It is. <laughs> Uh, I wanted these, but when I went to my shop, they only had the three of them. So these these came from Ray Ray as well. So the art art germs art germs is a germ. I think that's what sure. the kids are calling it. No, it's germ. And that's for Perry's one. Comics. Who? Perry Perry Comics. Hey now, what's up, Perry? Boom. And there, that's the, my second favorite of of the four. I think pretty nice. Futurama Comics number 79 and number 80. Bender's great. All right. Ghost Rider number 78. Really high grade. Nice copy. Number 45. All new, uh, free comic book day, all new Guardians of the Galaxy. This is the first appearance of Talon R. Now, if anybody read Infinity Countdown, they'd know that character. So this is his first appearance, so why not? Ghost Tales 128 from Charlton Comics. Pretty fantastic. Uh, awesome Birdie Wrightson. 256 with, uh, I think that's Abel, right? It's Abel. I believe that's the underrated Bernie Wrightson. A House of Mystery, <laughs> 313. I, Vampire. Love these. Howling Commandos of S.H.I.E.L.D., number one. Orgo, Manphibian, Man-Thing. So that uh, one right there, there's a first appearance in there that TiVo is specking hard on. Yeah, the kids love it. Yes, the Lord of the Longbox kids are loving that book. All yeah. right. Uh, there is, um, I forget what her name is, and I forget why she's important, but Tivo is specking hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So go and get that one. All right. Yeah. So if you don't have that one, kids, go out and get your Helen Commandos number one. Yeah. Well, I do know that this is the first time we see Manphibian in comic book form. You don't see him since uh, there's, Legion there's of... A, there's a girl in there, and apparently she's... Does something? I don't know. I never, never read the book. <laughs> First appearance. I don't know. Check out Lords of the Long Box. But uh, definitely, yeah. definitely get that book. Yeah. Check definitely. definitely. 
Check out Lords of the Long Box. Uh, they're always dropping hot information about what's upcoming and what's happening on screen, on TV. So check out TiVo over there. Howling Commandos of S.H.I.E.L.D., number two. Boom. Number three. Hit Monkey was hot for a moment. Um, here's a character I'm actually specking on. So you want to go get his first appearance? Uh, Nova number six, the first appearance of Sphinx. the Sphinx. Yes, sir. Because uh, I think, uh, as Nova's arch nemesis, I think, mm -hmm. and uh, we see him show up quite frequently, and people talk about Nova. So, yeah, go get this. Nova number six is probably going to cost you 10 bucks. If that. Yeah. Tell them G. Tell them G. Peter sent you. <laughs> House of Mystery number 204. Ah, Beauty. it's the first appearance of wow. Nadine, first appearance of Nadine Hassan, who becomes Glyph. Okay, and apparently Glyph is rumored to be in one of those Marvel uh, TV shows that are coming out on the streaming service. Okay, really? And uh, All right, she is. Um, can't remember of of some some descent, which makes her like the first. Well, like in ethnicity here, superhero Egyptian. Okay. Oh, uh, I know that there's a. Maybe she's not Egyptian. The character, uh, dust, the character dust. She's Saudi Arabian, I think. Okay. House of Mystery two fifty three. Another Neil Adams cover. Fantastic. Demon baby, the baby about to kill someone. Two sixty nine. Hulk hunters. I think this might be the only other time we see this character. Uh, because I wonder if they changed his name in here too, because he is Nightcrawler. That's his name. So I would say they probably changed it at this point Ooh. because I mean Nightcrawler is pretty established. So Yeah, that name's already taken. Sorry, buddy. Got some Hulks off my list, which was awesome. Issue 385. Big Lion Cat just joined the chat. Meow. Meow. What's up? Meow. 445. 265. Mm. Walt Simons in action going on. A little to Toad McFarland. 341. Wow. Look at the Hulk. Wow. Yeah. Wow. wow. Yeah. Out of control. Uh, the Monster of Frankenstein 101. Very cool. Short lived. Then that Iron Man 101. What? It's class for Iron Man? You said it was the Monster of Frankenstein 101. Same thing? Same thing. Same, Same thing. He thing. Took, he took over the book. Uh, might as might as well have been. It, it might as well have I love been I love Frankenstein's vest. Yeah, that's pretty cool. He's pretty stylish, huh? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm gonna wear? I'm gonna wear a fuzzy vest. Someone made it for him, probably. I don't think he made it. I don't. <laughs> I don't see that as sewing machine. Yeah. <laughs> so who, who's making these oversized clothing for the monsters? And why, if you're a monster, why do you even bother getting dressed? Do you feel humility? Like you, you wouldn't give a shit that your dong's oh. hanging out, right? <laughs> like you, I'm shame. Yeah. Oh no. Like I'm a monster, bro. You don't need to be dressed. What are you doing? Hung like budgie, right? <laughs> Iron Man number 133. This is an early appearance of Scott Lang. I'm getting an earlier appearance. I heard. 132. Got my boy Hulk on there. Love it. Iron Man 150, uh, 141. Boom. Nice. Excuse me while I grab another handful. Again, burning through these pretty quick. What I'm trying to do is uh, just show off these books so I can put them away. Uh, seems to be the biggest issue for me is organizing recent pickups uh, where I'm not doing as many YouTube videos as I would have normally have done. James Bond, for your eyes only, number one. This is probably why, because I'm picking up stuff like that. <laughs> that will um, be big when they make a movie of that, though. Oh, <laughs> can you imagine? Can you imagine? Uh, Marvel Superheroes 80 page special. This is fall 1990, uh, 1993. Uh, Barty and Mahasleet. There you go. 
Marvel Presents number 11. These came from my good buddy Gerard. Number 10. Number 9. I've had these a few times over the years. Number 7. Not overly pricey books to pick up, but really good quality Bronze Age stuff. Number 12. Talk about cool reprints. The Marvel Collector's Item, issue number 6. This is reprints number 9. Tales of Suspense 43, Hulk number 5, and Strange Tales 116, even though this is not the cover that uh, came with I don't know why they did that. It's a but other, I guess. I guess you know why? Probably because they only reprint the Doctor Strange story in it. Ah. He's bursting through the actual cover, that's why. So it's probably reprinting the Strange cover, or the Strange issue uh, story. Sorry, Marvel Super Action number 1. Wow. Pretty class, pretty classic, iconic cover. Marvel Super Action number three. Beauty Kirby. Moon Knight one eighty eight. Pretty groovy. Marvel Greatest Comics twenty center number thirty eight. I like how it's just a modern book, kind of just interspaced with all these bronze books. I'll tell you, there is no organization to this whatsoever. It's just. Crap stuff everywhere. Great stuff, but everywhere. Masters of the Universe. This is DC. And I know I don't really collect DC, but it's He-Man. So issue number two, Canadian. Newsstand. Boom. Why Thank you. Why should that Thank even you. be a thing? You guys are in Canada. Why should that be a thing? Masters of the Universe, Canadian Newsstand again, number one and two. Number uh, one and two, or issue one. Number one was uh, one and two were Canadian newsstands, and the rest were just regular covers. They were just like, it's not worth our while. <laughs> we'll just all put it on. We'll do it live. We'll put it all on the same cover. Marvel Team Up number 59. Wasp still clearly conflicted between uh, with old uh, Pim. Here we go. Masters of the Universe, number two versus the Mad Balls. Not really. <laughs> Again, pretty sweet stuff. Um, this is just stuff I picked up over the last two months. I think the last time I we went live was two months ago with Mike and showing off for the same purposes. Uh, Marvel Collector's item number eight, reprinting Fantastic Four number ten, Tales of Suspense fifty four, and again we've got Strange popping through, so I don't know what issue it is. And I, Big Lion Cat's trying to bid on on, uh, I guess it's probably your He Man's. Oh yeah, cool, yeah. no problem. I'll take uh, yeah yeah, Moon Knight number nine, <laughs> Moon Knight number eleven, number seven. Yeah, there's a, quite a little mixture here. Marvel Milestones Editions, X-Men number one. Now, I don't know anyone in this room who has X-Men number one. Yeah. Wait, wait a second. One, like, one out of three. And I, think it's, I think it's a statistical fact that one out of three people own an X-Men number one. Yeah. One out of three. Right. That's no need to write. Oh, no big deal. It's just X-Men number one, first appearance of the X-Men, first appearance of Magneto. Whatever. Minor, minor, My, minor, minor key. Blip on the map. Blip on the map. New Mutants number five. Now, now we're talking. <laughs> boom, boom of the nineties. Super nineties chick. Love it. Warlock drawn crazy as usual. Awesome. Sunspot. A lot of detail on Sunspot. Yeah, Sunspot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Numerita. Cannonball. Pretty nice. I think that guy's skids. Can, uh, no, it's not a Canadian. Special edition, New Mutants, number one. Nice wraparound on this, but I'll, uh, I've got so much to show, I can't show the back. I'm burning. At least it was a newsstand. At least. Uh, the New Mutants Slumber Party, number 21. I picked up the uh, rest of that storyline. I'll get into that. Uh, Nova, number eight. The Faceless oh, no. Goliath. Wow. And again... Radically rearranged Ronin Ragdolls came out like last week or something, the week before. Number really? one for that was straight out of the 90s. Yeah, it's got that Eastman thing happening, yeah? Yeah. Uh, Edgar Allan Poe, The Raven. Nice. Yeah. 
It's pretty amazing. Wow. That's yeah. Cool. yeah, very cool. I like it. Uh, Rom Space Knight number two, second appearance of Rom. Boom. Because Boom. When, you can't, when you can't afford the first appearance of Rom, go out and get the second appearance. I have the first appearance. So basically, retirement from comics done. You win. I won. You lose. Well, no, no, uh, you retire when they make a uh, true believers out of that. Oh. If they ever got the rights back, I think uh, what IDW or Dynamite IDW has it now. If they ever get it back, you know what? I could see it happen. I don't know. It'd be cool. Rom, number 17, 18, 18. Pretty dope. Storm looks great there. Mm -hmm. Love it. Rom, number 63. And Rom, number 22. So was was this like a second appearance of the character called the Torpedo. First appearance of Torpedo's butt. Nailed go. it. Well, dynamic. Dynamic. Well, I wouldn't brag about that either. What about that? Yeah, actually, I was just thinking about that. Nailing the uh, Torpedo's butt is... Here we go. The return of Torpedo 2. There you go. Mm -hmm. right, great cover. Yeah. Hey. Swamp Thing Winter Special. Very nice. Not collecting yeah. DC, but Swamp Thing always will pick up Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing number one. Saga Swamp Thing number one, sorry. Uh, pretty cool. Kelly Jones. Recipes, Len Wayne. Um, Swamp Thing number one. Uh, another copy of Saga Swamp Thing number one. Because oh. you can never have too many. Uh, Stranger Things free preview. Oh, I miss, yeah, I missed this when it came out, so it was really cool. Ray hooked me up with that. Supernatural Thrillers number four, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Nice. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, that's, a, that's a run I wouldn't mind uh, tackling. I mean, Supernatural Thrillers probably, what, ran 30, 25 issues or something? Yeah, not a, not a huge run, but it'd be cool to go and complete that. Thundercats number six, Mumra. Wow, big up the Mumra, because you know, okay, the next book, you know, I got my finger on the pulse of of movies, right, coming out. So Thor Annual number eleven. That's the first appearance of uh, the dwarf that <clears throat> does something. In the, yeah, does something in the movies for the kids, for the youngins. Yeah. Man, it's, the that, it's cool. The one that makes the uh, Stormbreaker thing. Yeah, Canadian yeah. new for first appearance Peter Peter Dinklage. Love it. There uh, you go. God, I was trying to figure out that name. God. Thor annual number eleven. Canadian no, newsstand no again. Screen. There you go. Number five. Great. Wow. And I I really do think that this is an homage of a pretty classic, uh, like Punisher War Journal, Daredevil, something or other. I don't know. Number three. Swift kick to the face. I only uh, pick up kick faces, kick books now. Issue number two, again, a Canadian newsstand edition. This is when they made the price jump from 75 cents Canada to 95 cents Canada. And then they were like, fuck wow. it. Yeah, yeah, they were like, fuck it. We're just going to charge whatever we want to charge. Wow, that's a pretty bold jump. Yeah. Uh, Tomb of Dracula, number 37. Really nice. Thor two, uh, 255. Thor covers, and it, even now, the modern ones, I've heard some people talk about how the modern ones are just so chaotic. The art is just all, you know, uh, got that um, space feel to it, like the, you know, uh, psychedelic feel to it. They're always busy, always crazy covers going on with Thor. Tales calculated to drive you bat. Nice. I like it. Yeah, man. Archie Comics. Love it. All right. The last little bit for this box, and then I'll uh, uh, I'll have to go stand up and actually get a, a box. Tower, ta terror, Tower of Shadows, issue number two. This might be a John Severin cover, maybe. Young Monsters in Love. Uh, pretty cool. Again, Swamp Thing. Pretty I like cool. it. Yeah, pretty sweet. 
pretty bold of you, something. Yeah. This is. Ooh. Yeah. Signed by Anthony Marquez. I'm not overly familiar with the artist, but Beck Rello, number one, and it comes with a COA. I've got a lot of signed books, not a lot of COAs with them. So that's kind of cool. Dynamic Forces, I imagine. No, nope. DE. Dynamite Entertainment. Got you. Wow, directly from them. Yeah. What if the Punisher's family hadn't been killed? Well, they'd still be alive. They'd still be alive. This Why is, even make the book? Ah, it's just rubbing salt on the wounds, man. You know what I mean? Um, and why did it take wait till volume two to ask that question? I wonder. You know what I mean? Uh, Octong Baby, Wonder Woman, one eighty-five. Love it. Yeah, pretty great. Another really great Adam Hughes Wonder Woman, one fifty-nine. Love it. Really great. Love this one. Weird Mystery Tales, issue number one. Very cool. Uh, underrated book, some may say. X-Force number 117. 116 and 117. You get the first appearance of like a, a ton of the ecstatic characters. Mr. Sensitive, I think, is this one. So it's the first appearance we, time we see him. Yeah. Pretty cool. Is, uh, of course, Gloop. Doop. Doop. That's yeah. what I meant. Yeah, sorry. Um, and I forgot about these little stack here. Did I do these already? West Coast Injection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've already showed these off. Yeah, I've showed these off last video. They're just sitting there. Just a bunch of West Coast Avengers. So I'm going to take it off me for a second presenting and just leave there. I have to go stand up and get some more books. Um, I suppose I don't need to stand up. But I've got to put these away. Um, Mike is missing there. Yeah, he is. <clears throat> That's cool. Guess he, had to, he had to take a phone call. Yeah, I need to stop letting stuff build up so much. You're telling me, man. Normally I get... <clears throat> Probably about a couple of stacks on top of my on top of my my uh, actual boxes, and I just say no. It's I gotta gotta clear this out. You on the other hand, <laughs> you you don't work that same system, obviously. No, so it's, it just it, it got out of control the last two months because the the prices have been right. What I've been tracking down some fun stuff. So I'll get into the next little stack here. It's just me and a comic fan for now. We have uh, Mike is incognito. But picked up a little uh, Battlestar Galactica. Number one. You know. Love it. These I picked up because um, <clears throat> Splash Page Comics, Mr. White Gloves himself, uh, during an off-air hangout one time uh, a couple of years ago, I brought this to my attention. And it's taken me till then to find these Battlestar Galactica number 17 and 18. And clearly an inspiration for the Red Hulk. Clearly. No, maybe not. No, maybe I not. mean, we, we looked through those books and clearly he wasn't called the Hulk. No. And they do they do look kind of different. They're like giant red apes, maybe. But that's kind of cool. This is low grade, but I'm glad I got it. Because I always wanted it. Uh, Doc Savage, number one. Gil Kane. Yeah, I'd imagine this has to be. Yeah, that's a Gil Kane, I would say. Uh, helping me complete my Dreadstar run. Dreadstar Annual by Jim Starlin. The Price. The Annual, number one. One of the tougher ones in the run to find. Captain Victory, issue number one. Not signed by Jack Kirby. Okay. Uh, I'm going to save this one for uh, yeah. sh show some of it because the inside is great. Uh, Luke Cage here for hire number four. It's always nice to pick these up. These came from, oh, God. Yeah. I don't even know. All right. So all these came from uh, my good buddy, the Nine Claw, uh, or Uncle Claw, Unky Claw, here in St. John's, a good buddy of mine. 
Uh, and this is issue number two, three, four, five. Uh, okay, part one. One of the last imprints from Epic. And this is the book Trouble. Uh, Written by Mark Millar, Terry Dotson, Rachel Dotson. So anybody familiar with Mark Millar's writing, he has this kind of approach to superheroes and characters, give them this real feel, you know, this actuality. So if you've read like The Ultimates or um, Jupiter's Legacy, Super Crooks, he always gives, he's an amazing writer. I love his stuff. So I thought that it'd be interesting to read this. Uh, Trouble is about teen pregnancy. Um, so it's from the perspective of Aunt May and Uncle Ben dealing with Peter's parents being pregnant with Peter. So issue one, I don't know why they went for photo it's covers. To figure out was like, uh, were his parents lesbians or? Yeah, you know, it's it's it, it very much was directed. Uh, it didn't do as well. Much. Didn't yeah, it didn't do as well as they thought it would. Uh, they thought it would like just really strike a chord with the kids. Well, yeah, it does look like a Team PSA book, but it uh, doesn't give you much to go on. No. Yeah, I photo covers, I don't know what they were really thinking with that. Uh, Iron Man number 283, second appearance of War Machine. Not bad. Oh, we got something here. Okay, so Keanu Reeves, hot. Hot right now. People loving him. Uh, I think because of this new video game coming out and the announcements of uh, Adam Warlock, supposedly, or all kinds of stuff. But uh, we have Bill and Ted's excellent comic book, number one. Well, oh, Stallions. All right. Good. <clears throat> but then, if that's not good enough, this is a huge book. Uh, Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey, issue number one. Very nice. Love this book again. I do have a lot of DC in here, it seems. Uh, Fox and Crow, number 96. This is the second appearance of Stanley and his monster. I love it. Uh, Simpsons Comics and Stories, issue number one, without the poster. Uh, not so, totally bad. Marvel Team Up, guest starring Spider-Man Generation X, number one. Hello, Mike. I'm back. I just wanted to update you on the chat because a couple of people jumped in just to okay. say hi. Uh, so we've got... Uh, Comic crack, yeah. So he said, he said, "What's up?" Mike Seif has said, "BM, BM to you too, sir." Uh, Hero Hunter eighty one says, "Howdy!" Wow. And uh, Doctor Von Chilla is back. So Excellent. That's where you are. You're caught up on the chat. Sorry, I had, I had a phone call there. Awesome. Lots of good people. Thanks for joining me, John. Uh, Hero Hunter, good to see you, sir. Uh, Mike Seif. Again, all lovely, lovely people. Mm -hmm. um, the Avengers issue eighty-two. I don't. You you missed a ton, Mike. You missed a ton. I, I was I was watching while while uh, I was okay. couldn't hear the witty banner. All right, Simpsons comics number eighty-nine. Snelson, love uh, it. Yeah, man. Nelson's one of my. I think Nelson's probably is one of the best characters from The Simpsons. One of the best side characters, like uh, <laughs> the Punisher number eight. Punisher picking up knitting, done with killing. I like it. Wolverine and the Punisher issue number one. Marvel Knights. I've never seen this before. We got a real anime feel to it. So, yeah, uh, these came from Heroes and Hobbies which is a relatively new comic book store here in St. John's, Newfoundland. Uh, so, yeah. Very Rebel, cool. Rebel Comics in the chat. Hey, hey now. OP. How are you, sir? Um, yeah. Punisher Armory, number one. Another Incredible Hulk off the list, 379. Hey. How many more do you have left to go? Oh, bro. A lot. A lot? A lot. Like, how long have we been going? No, no, no! Hulk, Hulk books. Oh, I mean, Hulk books. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm I'm uh, working under a hundred now. That's what I need. I need a under a hundred issues, and most of them are in the four hundreds. So, now that I got giant fat face here out of the way, I can uh, move on to something else. Excellent. Judo master, karate, jujitsu, judo, 
all of it. We do all of it. Very feminine pose by Judo Master here. The the good thing about those books is they actually have like judo lessons in the back. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty yeah. freaking awesome. You know, because I reading comic books uh, at the time, you needed to know how to defend yourself. You're set. You're sat down too much. You needed to be active. Well, and you needed to defend yourself from bullies. So this is true. Cyber bullying. Kung There's Fu. No, ci no cyber judo. Hey, um, no cyber judo. Should, cyber. Be. should be cyber judo. Next next time we get together, we should talk about organizing or coming up or inventing cyber judo jujitsu. Uh, Sergeant Fury and Helen Commando is number 76. There you go. Very cool. Red Baron. Number 79. Like it. Number 73. Very good. Number 72. I like it. Captain America 142 with the Falcon, Grey Gargoyle, and a nice big fold in the cover. <laughs> <laughs> I love that he can't even bother to, to fix the fold. Wish I knew a presser. Wait a second, I do. Uh, Polar pressing. <laughs> Let's stop and interrupt and do a new news or an ad. Polar Pressing. Uh, Polar, Polar Pressing. Pressing. And uh, this, this show is sponsored by Polar Pressing and uh, Fresca. <laughs> Number 140. Again, Great Gargoyle. All right, so Saved by the Bell. Number three, Zach's first bachelor party. What a scorcher. There you go. So uh, wow. Dr. Von Schiller is asking, why haven't you fixed the fold, WTF? Uh I have not even gotten to the the bulk of this stuff. I, it's coming in so fast. I'm, I'm picking up so much that I don't even uh, I have no time to get to these books. So I need new bags and boards. As you see, a lot of this isn't bagged and board. A lot of it's in old gunky bags. Some uh, are not in bags at all. Some are not in bags at all. Some were sent to me two books in one bag. So that was... I mean, Rebel, Rebel Comics is asking, who's with you? Oh, uh, we have uh, four, uh, Mike from 4-Way Flashers on Comics, and we have Joe from uh, Comic Book Fanatics. No, um, totally wrong. Totally wrong. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry. Wow. Only, you, you know who I know. I'm going to uh, redo on that. All right, let me, let, me, let me start over. He's only the person I've been hanging out with for pretty much every single day for the last three to four years. Uh this is comic fan Joe. Very, uh, both very, very good friends. And, uh, uh, Doctor Von Gilla says, "Read the book, fix the fold. It's your civic duty." I, I, I am on it, sir. I am on it, and stick around because I do have some books to, that I think you'll find very interesting. Uh, not that none of these are, but the fold. <laughs> I apologize. Um, Eva's apologies. I need to fix it. I do have. A Bronze Age Grail book coming up. I'm going to try and burn through this stuff as quick as I can. Yeah, I was, I wondering, I was wondering where it was. Yeah. Right. Is, is is Rebel still in the chat? Um, I want to show you. Was it Luke Cage number four? The Untouchables, second appearance of The Untouchables. Boom. Yeah. Robert Stack. Love it. Uh, this was something that I, I picked up off somebody. Niobe Swimsuit Edition. Boom. Boom. Uh, the variants on that. Uh, Niobe swimsuit edition. Whoa, hey, whoa, whoa. Oh. Yeah. There might be kids watching this. Yeah. Niobe number one. Uh, this is – no, not signed. Re Ni Rebel, Rebel Comics says, oh, damn. Yeah. Niobe <laughs> number two. We got Ivani. <laughs> Ivani. Uh, Niobe number two. Again there. Very cool. And no, those aren't. I think the swimsuit editions are signed. Larry has a, another uh, Kickstarter coming up soon. If you want to know more about that? Check out uh, Rebel Gaming, uh, Rebel Comics, and uh, he'll keep you up to date on what's going on on uh, Indiegogo. Not another Kickstarter, Indiegogo. So remember, if you love comics, support, support small press indie. So self publishers. Larry says you just need number four now. Yep, my address will be in 
<laughs> the description. Description <laughs> below. Uh, Radioactive Man, number 219. Uh, actually, number two. This is a pretty fantastic cover. Radioactive Man. I think this is issue number four, but it's issue 1000. Take that, Action Comics, number 1000. This came out way before it. Marvel Presents, number six, Guardians of the Galaxy. Some more Judo Masters, and of course, Charlton being ever so convenient by putting the, the issue number on the inside. Loved that when they did that. Uh, Judo Masters, issue number 97. Thank you for, ah. thank you for listening, Charlton. Uh, New Warriors, number 53. Still trying to finish this run. I'm almost done. Thank God. 54. I definitely was not getting the New Warriors at this point. Number 55. So Larry says, uh, Indiegogo for Niobe number one reprint and Kickstarter for Niobe Birthright. There you go. Right, go Kickstarter and Indiegogo. Support some local talent. And, uh, local Canada being local. Yeah. We're, we're, we're your neighbors, America. Support us. Make it happen. Okay. Uh, we're, we're all about uh, building walls, not bridges. So. Marvel Spotlight number 16. Yeah. We, we like to build peace bridges. <laughs> uh, the Incredible Hulk 461. Another one off the list. Uh, the Uncanny X-Men 290. I have maybe <laughs> too many copies. Yeah, too many copies of this. Uh, I'll just say it again. Will is anybody going to go see Potasio? Just ask him. Just be like, why not? Why not, why not, why not Blue? I did. I did see him a while back. I did not ask him about that. I should have though. I, I, and does he know that this is now known as the Bukaki variant? I, the Bukaki I don't know. That's embarrassing. He's, he's coming. He's coming to Fan Expo this year. So I will <laughs> not, only, not only get one autographed for you. But I will also ask him and try and get it on on uh, video chat. I, I, I'm curious if yeah, what you know, her hair is white, her costume is white, the background is purple and blue. The background, uh, and as you start approaching, some of the rain is blue all over her face, not blue. So, Doctor Von Chilla says, "New Warriors." Dot 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 dot. Fire kindling. Dot dot dot. Oh dot. wow. It's shots, a bold statement. Shots fired. One, okay. one, one, okay. one that I completely agree with, but bold statement. Bold statement, sir. All right, we have the Incredible Hulk issue two, uh, 429. Hulk not happy. Uh, New Mutants number 19. Fantastic. Bill Sienkiewicz. Wow. Mm. Yeah, just amazing, man. Secret Origins number 9. Swamp Thing. Marvel Edge, a very uh, not good imprint of Marvel, but this is uh, clearly made out of pure silver. Very valuable. I think it's platinum, actually. Platinum. Uh, I'm going to melt this down. I'm going to take a bunch of things and see if they'll melt down. But this is Punisher, electrifying your first issue. If Punisher Comics is in the chat, do you still do you have this? Have you ever seen this? Because I had not seen this before. I hadn't seen much of the Marvel Edge stuff, but um, yeah. Never seen that either. Yeah. Um, I don't even know if it's Frank Castle. I don't know if it is. Uh, you know, it's a different hair choice. Not my Frank Castle. All right, not my Frank Castle. So, New Mutants number twenty, Badlands. There this you go. Is, is so odd. Moon Knight number five. Love it. Yeah, there's there's so much so much out there of Moon Knight to get involved in. Oh, here we go. Dr. Von Chilla, check this out. All right, I'm going to take this out have a little look inside. Uh, we have Kid Cole, Outlaw, The Ghost of Silver City. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Dr. Von Chilla says, I love how the Punisher goes to the electric chair in his classic costume. <laughs> <laughs> That's very nice, very nice. Uh, uh, you know, it's not one we're oppressing that's going to help it, but yeah, Jack Keller, Stan Lee stuff. Not bad. Oh, good, 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 good. I want my next birthday cake to smell like an old comic book. Mm. May not taste the best, but <laughs> Captain America 126, The Falcon Returns. Number 121, Captain America versus The Man Brute. Like I said, most of these do not have bags and boards. 
No bags and boards. Right. Captain America yeah. 118, second appearance of Captain uh, of old uh, little wow. Falcon. I almost called him Captain America. Captain Falcon? I guess here. Captain Falcon. Falcon America. Is that is that not one that deserves a uh, bag? At least a bag. Is there a bag around for this? No, no, I'm just thinking it's like it's been out of a bag for this long. Don't you think it deserves a bag and board? It does. Least? I just don't Get have the comic I... bag and board. If I had a bag and board, my girlfriend would kill me. Um Warlock number twelve. Oh. oh Jesus. Really nice. Wow, look at that. Hubba hubba. Yeah, man. Great. <laughs> Warlock issue number 13. We're just going to wait for Mike. Right. So, one, once you that, that's, that, that's the Kyle Walker uh, hangouts summoning me. Oh, oh. It's the wild the Kyle Walker hotline. Patsy and Heidi. So, so I, I got to go. I mean, <laughs> Yeah. Scroll kill crew. There you go. Another Marvel Edge imprint. Again, scrolls deserve it though. Unlike the wraiths in in uh, Rom, scrolls definitely deserve it. They are continually picking on Earth. What if the Marvel superheroes had lost Atlantis attacks? Mike said Canadian phones don't have a vibrate option. We only just got the phone last week. Usually, it's somebody in Newfoundland. It's just somebody runs up, and knocks on your door. Yeah. Hey, That's John was trying to call you. Yeah. Crusty Comics number two and number one. Oh wow! Yeah, I would like to say that I'm getting close to finishing my run on most of the Bongo issues titles, but there is so many one shots out there, so many titles. Uh, I'm going to be doing it a while. So this is number issue 88, Radioactive Man, issue number two. And the last little bit in this box. Uh, I love this book, Mystery in Space. I had it years ago. I uh, sold it, and uh, I, I kind of regret it, so I was glad to pick it up again. Mystery in Space, number 87. This is the first time Adam Strange appears in this title. Very cool. Uh, Son of Satan. Number three. Number four. Did I freeze up? With a cup and string. Did I freeze up then too? No. All right. Things feels like it froze up for a second. Number seven. That's because we were bad mouthing it. Um. Frank said that he's that uh, Punisher book in the dollar bins. Number eight. I can find it in the dollar bins. Is my can is my shit breaking up? Because you're breaking up. I think it's just Mike. I think it's just Mike. That's probably because he's got like ten phones and hangouts going at the same time. Mm -hmm. Marvel, my mm -mm. team. Mm -mm. mm -hmm. And the, uh, the last one uh, in this particular right. box, and then I got another box to get to. This is the Human Fly number one. We got writing and stuff all over it, but uh, look, he's gone now. Human yeah. Fly number one, kind of a kind of a weird oddity book to be thrown out by Marvel. I think it was maybe just to get the rights to it. I don't know. All right, I'm going to grab another. Oh, before I do. Here we go. This is a nice little pickup. Dr. Von Chill, I want to show you this. Big Apple Comics. Really nice. Um, awesome. There's Wally Wood work in here. Adults only, so I don't know how much of it I can actually show without being um, written up in sense of the principal's office. Uh, but this is, this is Flo Steinberg's uh, publication. She was doing at the time. Rest in peace. Alan Weiss. Here we go. I can show this. Like awesome Alan Weiss work. Mm, nice. Right. Um, Wally Wood. I know that uh, comic fan is a big fan of Wally Wood. Yeah, uh, a little bit. This seems to be a little risque. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a. Uh, we have Larry Hammer. Cool. Yep. 
Uh, we have, yeah, you know, the Wallywood stuff is uh, a little, little risky. Yeah, it, it kind of is. Yeah, I can't actually show any of these pages. No. Um, yeah. Colin Weiss was part of Neil Adams' stable back in the day. And then we have uh, Schwartzberg and Severin as well. Nice. Man Without a City. This is a nice little unique little piece. I like it. I'm glad I have it. Smaller than the average comic. Comic Book Fever has joined the chat. It says that, that Big Apple Comics is cool. Yeah, very mm -hmm. cool. A little odd size to it, but very cool. Glad to have it. I've wanted it for a while, and uh, I, thanks to the Nine Claw, he made it happen. So, thank you, sir. I'm just going to grab a second box. And uh, Kyle Walker just uh, showed up as well. Thanks, Kyle. Thanks for interrupting my show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have some House of Secrets, number 130. Gorgeous stuff. These are just back issues. 129, House of Secrets, love it. Uh, Krogar, I had this Tales to Astonish book uh, years ago, and I sold it. I wish I had kept it. Creatures on the Loose, number 13. Nice 15 center. I think uh, Joe Walker tried to call you... Ace, Ace Paul Paula Dean or something like that, and then he retracted. Oh, <laughs> he felt bad for it. That's Kyle Walker, one of the nicest people on YouTube. <laughs> he tried to insult me and, and burn me back, and he just felt bad. <laughs> <laughs> 255, House of Mystery. Awesome stuff. House of Mystery, 238. Very sick. House of Mystery, 123. Seen better days, but... At least it has a bag. Classic Illustrated, Journey to the Center of the Earth, the Jewels of Vern. A little bit of tape pull up there. What odds? Low grade is better than no grade. The First Men in the Moon, H.G. Wells. Um, And they're not talking about them. They're talking about them. They're the First Men. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was our men. Um, we have Witching Hour, number 35. Nice. nice. Seems a bit unfair. Monster picking on a, a woman. Yeah, yeah that's, that's not cool. Shitty monster. Easy prey. Easy prey. This issue is called The One Pager. <laughs> uh, it's midnight. The Witching Hour, number 36. Beautiful. Beautiful cover. That's cool. Yeah, very cool. Uh, Marvel Classic Comics, issue number 20, Frankenstein. Again, uh, you know, where is he getting the attire from? You know? Or does he care? He doesn't really care. Mm -hmm. There is no, no uh, DC or Marvel Universe is Frankenstein monster dressed nicely. Okay. There, there's, it doesn't have... Only in the movies where he's got the nice suit. But... Does War of the Worlds, adapted from classic novel by H.G. Wells. Marvel Classic Comics, number 14. Boom. Okay. House of Mystery, Michael Kaluta, artwork, obviously, 309. House of Mystery, 245. Haunted Trees seem to be a theme with that House of, House of Mystery. House of Mystery, 100 pager for only 60 cents. Boom, 225. Mm -hmm. Charlton Comics, Bionic Woman, number one. Wow. Spider Woman, number 15. Old, uh, old Mrs. Drew, mm -hmm. number 10, versus The Moth. Number 17, nice cover. Nice. Uh, Spider Man number 18. Uh, Spider Man. Spider Woman number 18 sends the flesh. We're up by Night Guest Stars in issue 19. Last face to face with Spider Man. 
Nice. Issue number 20. The direct edition as well. Another direct edition. Number 21. This guy going to get it. Nice Severin Esposito. Spider-Man. Uh, Spy Jesus. Spider-Woman. Number 22. These guys are bidding on, I believe, your, your Spider-Woman books now. All really? Right. Okay. It's already up to seven bucks. All right. Keep it going. Ooh. Keep it going. I didn't know that that was a that was a thing. Now I mean, I, I, yeah, the way it works now on YouTube. I'm you all waiting for it, Doctor Lomchilla says. <laughs> you didn't you didn't hear about this? That's what this the new thing on YouTube. That's what they're doing. They're uh, this, this auction thing, huh? It's got to auction it. Everything, wow. Everything's for sale. Twenty seven. Are we are we starting an auction right now? It's already been. <laughs> it's happening. I, I got some books. She. <laughs> Number one, number two, one of the one of the most underrated artists, uh, I think, or doesn't get all the credit he deserves in the modern age of comics, which is uh, Mr. Gray Morrow. Uh, this is not an uh, you know an overly excellent example of it. It's just no, it's not. It happens to be Gray Morrow. Um, here we go. Ah, what a Kyle Waka's favorite, Mr. Waka, Wonder Woman. Number 75. Uh, Wonder Woman's always had a hard time with Octopus. So this is a good old bowl. Good old bowling. There's a great cover. That's great. Number 71. She's really giving it all on that headlock. Yeah, she, she really is, huh? It's a great expression. Is that it? That's not it. That can't be it. That's not it. That's not it. All right, I've got a... Uh, Unbelievable. On. Just when you thought this was over, it's not over yet. Yeah, I had originally said to, to Mike that it was like, well, we'll do this in a couple of parts. We'll just go live and just show off a couple of stuff, and then I'll I'll do it again. But we we all know in this room, we all know that that's probably not going to happen with not me. Not at all. It, it took me – my five minutes are actually a half hour, so <laughs> – He's not joking. No. Mm -hmm. So we have Sabrina Archie Giant, number seven. Very cool. Uh, number Giant, number nine. Josie and the Pussycats, number 51. Josie and the Pussycats, number 64. Nice horror cover. Mm, horror. 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 Was shocking. We got some true ghost stories. Some gold key. Uh, I don't know the issue numbers offhand. They're in the inside. And I really just kind of want to burn through these. But some of these covers are great. We don't get a lot of people showing off gold keys uh, as much as... I don't it should. I, I don't want to even say it should, but there's some great stuff out there. Gold key. Uh, this is a really nice one. Oh, let's see. Very wow. cool. Another uh, Ripley's Believe It or Not. True ghost stories. Weird. You got some Dark Shadows. Great Legends, a fan of the Dark Shadows. A little Twilight Zone action going on. I don't have the, the issue 84 Twilight Zone. That's the first Frank Miller work. Other dark shadows action going on. Wow. Let's drop that Yeah, man. Let's drop that issue. Um, another dark shadows. This, I love it. Twilight Zone. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. It's so sick. This is great, too. It's really nice shape, actually. Uh, the Twilight Zone, a blinded alien. He needed a human for his eyes. Really nice stuff. Mm. Oh. You could have taken these guys. The nightmare began when his dream ended. Now, I don't know. This really looks like early uh, Gil Kane. Reminds me of a uh, Brain Boy stuff. I don't know if it is or not. Because Gold Key weren't really convenient when it came to pointing out who did the artwork inside or who did the cover art. And, uh, yeah. Mm. 
Really nice. Ripley's, believe it or not. Nice haunted train. Dr. Von Chilla says, not Gil Kane. Not Gil Kane? It not Gil Kane. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And uh, uh, Kingdom Comics jumped on. Says, hey, everyone, I had to sneak hmm. away. Peepap was on. Hey, man. Good to see you. Uh, wow. well, on. Devil. Uh, he sold his soul for Haggis. A nice uh, witch cover here. Fantastic. Ripley's Believe It or Not True Ghost Stories. I'll start burning through some of these a little quicker now. But, uh, yeah. I like, I tend to be uh, more drawn to the ghosts ones rather than the Ripley's, uh, what is it, like demons and something or other. But Or, or there's a sci-fi based one as well. This one has a real cool horror feel to it. Love it. This is a really, really nice piece. Imagine owning the original illustration of this. Wow. Yeah, very cool. <clears throat> War wasn't scary enough. Believe it or not, time to destroy the old clock. Grimm's Ghost Stories, a haunted piano. Grimm's Ghost Stories, look at those eyes. Fantastic. A little swirling action going on. Twilight Zone. The Haunted Copier. Wow. <laughs> the paper kept coming out. <laughs> Pretty cool. Not their finest moment. There we are. Picture, if you will. I don't know. <laughs> that must have been a slow month. <laughs> what are we going to write about this month, guys? I know, like, come on, guys, come on. Give me some ideas. Come on. Lamp. No, we did a lamp last week. <laughs> right. Typewriter. <laughs> Ghost writer type writing. Uh, no, no, we did that already. There's a new thing out there. It's a copier. And uh, Dr. Von Chill is drinking. He's drawn to the demons when he's smoking weed. He's drawn to the monsters. This is fact. This is fact. Uh, you know, some people say don't go to the grocery store when you smoke weed. Uh, like after smoking weed, like don't take me to the comic book store after I've smoked because I buy yeah. some crazy shit. Yeah, <laughs> Dazzler, Dazzler thirty six. Hashtag warriors. So, are we saying that you were uh, full on the weed during this whole time? Because <laughs> there, there could have been. There could have been. This must have been one big old bonk fest for you. I basically, yeah, I basically just uh, steady smoked. Nice and cabbage. Look at that. 35. All right, see you later, big lion cat. Thanks for coming out. Later, man. Uh, number 34. Again, St. Cabbage was all over the place during the 80s, man. Look at, look at this. Boom. Starting yeah. the humans. Kind of care bearing it out. I see it. Yeah. That, she's dazzling it out. Come on. And well, we're, okay. we're, we're going to go back. Even then, look at this. Even then, boom. All right, so we got two <laughs> of number three. Even then, Canadian, boom. Ooh. Canadian price variant. Five cents makes all the difference. Wow. Boris Karloff, look at that. That's fantastic. Wow. One of my favorite covers. Again, feels like a Gil Kane, not a Gil Kane. Um, and when I say Gil Kane, it reminds the, the 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 Brain Boy from Dell Comics era stuff. Very heavy illustrated. Yeah, I don't know who's doing the cover on these. Uh, this is Kim Lee, uh, Ghost Manor number ten. Hmm. Very very drawn out, long, long. Yeah, Charlton wasn't really going for points in the uh, the horror department. Art articulation. Is not a factor we need to worry about. Just draw it. Not Gil Kane, he says it. No. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I can usually tell Gil Kane's work and his, his, his very his comic booky, comic booky, comic book stuff. His early work, I have difficulty identifying. Uh, Boris Karloff, you know, on, on the on the hot spot of uh, Godzilla. Nothing's more frightening than a giant sea snail. Yeah. Uh, 
I thought, you weren't supposed to, I thought you weren't supposed to put salt on snails. This is fact. This is fact. Probably pissed them off. Uh, speaking about pissed off, we have the mini ghost of Dr. Graves, number 16, Steve Ditko. Mm. Rest in peace, Steve Ditko. Yeah. Uh, we've got, this might be a double. I don't even know. That's the worst thing when you buy chaotically. And <laughs> on the weed. On the, on the weed. We get Wonder Woman number 67, but I can't think of a nicer cover to get doubles of. Look at that. Great. Something I'd not heard of before, so I uh, grabbed it. Pauline Peril. The Close Shaves of Pauline Peril. Gold key. Wow. Hmm? Again. Close Shaves? Yeah. Yeah. Don't do... Don't smoke weed and buy comics. It's <laughs> uh, Innovations. Freddy's Dead. Issue number two. I don't have number one. I don't have any other Nightmare on Elm Street comic, but I felt the need that I needed issue number two. Just drop it in the middle. Comic book fever loves Pauline Peril. Yeah? She's fire. Hell yeah. All right. <laughs> let's see. Let's, let's get a little, drunk, a little taste of the Yeah, let, let's find out how close of a shave she gives herself. <laughs> Brazilian. <laughs> there you go. That was a close one. Oh my god, the title doing her thing a ling. <laughs> and look at the pose she's taking. That's that's offensive. That's offensive. I don't know if you could publish that. Well, 1970, September 1970, issue number two. What do we got here? Is this uh Western Publishing? <laughs> I was just wondering if it's uh who owns the rights to the something like this. Let's let's get another a little look at here. Oh, geez, man, this is heavy text for a for a gimmicky comic thing. This is very heavy text, very much. A, oh wow, that's yeah. just too much reading. I don't know. Yeah, this was written by Fred Hembeck, I think. No kidding. Heavy, yeah. with text. heavy yeah. with text. Supergirl. A little. Uh, little, yeah, little you want to, you want to spin it around the uh, again? Time. Again, some weed action going on. Wow. Oh, yeah. Supergirl. <laughs> Dazzler versus the X Men. Ah, Jackson Gucci, Gucci, the real Gucci. Dazzler thirty nine, boom. All right, this was cool. Just, of course, we're gonna have a modern book thrown in there. It wouldn't be Grindhouse Bride of the Blood Part One. Yeah, Dazzler number forty. Number 41. Wow. A Paul Chadwick Beast. All right. Number 42. Captain. I wonder if this ties into uh, Beauty and the Beast at all. I don't know. Uh, the Super Cops. Again, Gray Morrow. There's a good example of Gray Morrow. I love it. Super Cops from Red Circle Comics, number one. House of Mystery, 241. Bill King did some smashing Supergirl covers in the early 1980s. Yeah. Who did? Gil Kane. Michael Turner, Fathom, number four. We've got Hannah Barbera's issue number two, The Adams Family. I love uh, from Gold Key. I love Fester on there. And I like uh, Wednesday. Uh, yeah. Very sweet. <laughs> Morticia looks great. It's cool. I almost bit yeah. on an, uh, issue number one of that Adams Family yesterday. Where they're in the, the, the car, the jalopy. Yeah. Kind of missed the boat on that one, sir. Uh, we got Dazzler number 23. Springer cover. All right. Oh, here we go. Issue number two. Two copies of issue number two. So, direct edition, newsstand edition, first newsstand edition of Dazzler. Issue one only had direct editions. So, get two. Get them both. Make it happen. Dazzler, number 37. John Byrne. Uh, Ghost, issue number 14. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I uh, want to... Think this could be Nick Cardi. 
number 14. Very nice. Very cool. Unexpected, 137. We got Wonder Woman, another 15 cents, uh, 195. We got some more Sabrina the Teenage Witch issue, number 36. Number 35. Number 19. Again, I need bags and boards for this stuff. Number 37. Drayman says, hey, G-Pop, fellas. Hello, wizards. <laughs> you the wizards. If you haven't seen Drayman's channel, check it out. Lots of good books. Lots of uh, good music. Him and his metalhead friends sit around and talk about old, old British doom metal. It's very interesting. Uh, the Occult Files of Dr. Spectre. Very nice. Illustrated covers. Gold key with the illustrated covers, man. I love my bog monsters. So I picked that up. Most of the Dr. Spectre stuff, I, could, I it's not really uh, not something that I'll be chasing down. But mm. if you can get a bog monster wrestling a gator, I mean, you'd be an idiot not to get it. That's all I'm saying. Right? Right. Right. The Witching Hour, number 65. Witching Hour 56. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, speaking of beautiful, very cool. Uh, Dazzler issues 31, The Last Wave. Bill Sienkiewicz. <sighs> Juxtaposition of all his <clears throat> work is just a uh, very 80s cover with a, uh, I guess it's an eye rock. I don't know, but we're it's assistant editors month. Don't say we didn't warn you. Dazzler number thirty. Hey, you recognize? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah that's at uh, that's California. Yeah. Just try to out 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 roller skate a I rock. I don't think so. Right. What's that got to do with it? I don't think so. In California, no. The, the, the great man also wants to clarify that he does also go through his dad's R uh, R and R slash. I guess it's R and B blues records with him as well. So very cool. And he's a wizard. So Tales of Evil, number two, uh, from Atlas Comics. People going a little bonkers for the Atlas Comics stuff lately. Yeah. But Tales of Evil, the Bog Beast. The Tales of Evil ones can be a little tougher to find than some of them, but there are some of them that are just a plenty. So Tales of e Evil. Man, I see. R and R. This was this was a this was a rock and roll. Yeah, R and R. There you go. Come on, rock and roll. R and B. No, <laughs> very wait over. Well, R, R, R and B and blues makes sense together. Come on. Hello, Drew Hill. Come on. Come on. Sit down. What is it? Was it Black Street? What is that? <laughs> that band from the eighties. You remember that? Uh, <laughs> Unknown worlds. A little ACG action going on. This is issue number 31. I love when a book comes back to you as well. I had sold this years ago to the Nine Claw, and I bought it back from him. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. Wonder I, Woman. I would think that that book kind of has some resentment towards you. Number 68. It does. I can tell. It's looked at me yeah. as a bit salty in the box. Right. I'm going to give it a new Mylar bag. Make it happy. Grimm's Ghost Stories. There you go. We got the gray man on front. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the gray man. I'm telling you, if there's ever a channel that I've recently subscribed to in the last year that I've enjoyed more, I can't talk highly enough of his channel. Go check out his channel. He's always putting something live in the chat to talk to you. Go check out his stuff. Like I said, I don't watch a lot of YouTube anymore. I try and catch my friends. I try and catch some live stuff. Uh, but I always make a point to go back and watch Gray, Gray Man stuff. There's also watch. a contest going on right now, too. Uh, so, uh, yeah, check it out. Support him. Do, do a video for him. Spider-Woman number 32. We got uh, old, uh... <laughs> He says, I wish my beard would attain that level of mastery. <laughs> <laughs> Another uh, we, we tell you about uh, G R A Y. Is that correct? G R E Y. Okay, then I typed it incorrectly. Ghost number 47. 
Uh, we're almost getting to the bottom of the pile here, guys. Then I've got my Bronze Age Grail to show. Oh, that I recently picked up number forty-one. I'm trying to burn through these now. This is this is good shit, though. I love it. Uh, uh, unexpected one thirty-eight. This is when they had dropped the the whole tales of. It just became the unexpected. One sixty-five. Uh, Witching Hour, number 52. Really putting a hurting on these uh, DC horror stuff. Whereas uh, Jared Osborne doesn't refer to them as horror. They're just tales. Just tales. They're not anthology stuff. So we have another uh, Dazzle Springer cover. Well, my personal favorite, uh, The Heroes for Hire. Nice. Guys. And she's looking <clears throat> super hot. Yeah. Uh, not looking so hot, Wonder Woman. Wow. Wow. But that's very nice. Really nice. Costume. All right. I was not prepared for that. Um, Wonder Woman number 66. Mm. A Marvel Chiller is issue number two, Mordred the Mystic. Ghost number 62. And the last one. No, not the last one. Sorry. I've got three more boxes to show. No, I'm just joking. This is the last, this is the last issue and a, a goodie. A goodie. Uh, it's not in the greatest condition, but this is issue 93 of Ghosts. Michael Kaluta. Beautiful cover. All right. And the last two books I want to show. Oh, God. Okay. I got. Okay. 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 So, Avengers number fourteen. This came from Four Way Flashers. I was anytime you get early Avengers stuff, I don't care what the grade is. Get it. Love it. Thank you, Mike. You're very welcome, sir. Um, this was a pretty sweet Golden Age book to pick up. Uh, I got this uh, when my friend Evan De Leon. And Hudak Comics were going a little crazy on a site, buying some stuff. And so I bought this one. Walter Lance, Woody Woodpecker. This is Del 4 Color, issue 169. CGC 5.5. You don't see me getting a lot of CGC slab stuff, but this was at a price I couldn't refuse. And it's pretty amazing. They don't even indicate it on the top of here. This is the very first issue of Woody Woodpecker. Absolutely love it. I got it for a ridiculous price, 1947. Uh, this is also a drug issue. Woody Woodpecker uh, does a whole kind of uh, what is it? Uh, Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde, and he, go, and he goes berserk in the city, starts destroying property and <clears throat> scaring people and terrorizing people because uh, he's all effed up on drugs. But he'd have to be if you ever watched any of the Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> I'm sure most people have. You see, he's oh, definitely, oh, oh, oh. yeah, yeah, he's <laughs> he's definitely lit like most of the time. Definitely, Doctor Von Chilla says feels like we started the stream a few hours ago. Got to go. Lots of fun. See y'all later. Oh, don't leave yet. Don't leave yet, sir. I got my Grail. My Grail. What the heck? All right, I'm gonna show it. Jeez, Iron Fist number fourteen. That's it. Thanks for joining. <laughs> uh yeah first appearance of saber tooth i how long have i been looking for this i don't know but how many years have i been harassing you for it mike well i had that book for about two years so two years solid two years solid harassing him yeah. haranguing him we had many jokes at the expense of this book trying to uh settle and come to an agreement to the point where it was never going to happen then uh one day so, I was on the drugs, and I said... One day he was on the drugs, and he sent it to me. Um, uh, he charged me quite a lot for it. There's, there's, He, he, he made me pay for it, so... <laughs> uh, <laughs> he gave me a hell of a deal on it, and uh, super thankful. This has been a long time coming for me to get this book. It's very expensive to find, <laughs> even, even in a low grade. It's a pain in the... Uh, uh, I don't know. I was like, oh, I'm staying here. Bring it, bring it on, John. There we go. Yeah. It all led up to this moment, John. I had to show you this. 
uh yeah super glad to have this and uh that's yeah. it we got yeah. through all, all the books i don't know how long were we running for i don't know um, but i would have to say there's a message to this whole thing message being persistence pays off so if you see a book in the background of somebody that you're ever having to hang out with hit them up on it even if it takes two years especially persistence, especially persistence pays off apparently i'm a big pushover Hey, uh, Mike, how much you want for that Silver Surfer number one? Mike, okay. could I get that, uh, I get that uh, <laughs> book back there? I don't know. I, I can't I can see no book. I don't know. <laughs> 100, 100 minutes exactly right now. Boom. All right. We're going to end it on here. I want to thank Four Way Flashers and Comic Fan for joining me today and going through and uh, just listening to me. My throat is dry now. Okay. Thank you to everybody who uh, stopped by in the chat. Uh, a ton of people. Uh, is there anything in the, in the chat before we go there, Mike? I don't have it open because my internet sucks. That's the only reason I haven't seen it. Mike, thank you for checking the chat for me today as well. No problem, buddy. Uh, it says, I want to know where the disembodied voices are coming from. Okay, I see more people now. I guess it was just focused on you the whole time, and all you could hear were the voices. That's it. Welcome to my world. Welcome yeah. to my world. <laughs> all right. Uh, again, thanks everybody for che checking it out. Uh, I'm going to try and be, a, you know what, I'm not even going to say that. I was going to say I'm going to try and be a little more uh, studious at putting up uh, videos, but that's not going to happen. But I will see everybody in the chats, in the live chats. And I'm, if I don't comment, I am watching your videos. I try and leave a thumbs up whenever I can. And uh, when I'm not watching on the tablet or the phone or whatever. But again, thanks everybody. I'm glad I have my grail. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Joe. I'll we'll uh, see you guys soon, hopefully. Mm -hmm.